Well, hello there, Carol Dockham here with Beautiful Faces Going Places Women's Success Network. And we are here today with our special Business Spotlight series. And our special guest today is Jim Diebold. Uh, Jim is the founder and business strategist with Focal Point Business Coaching and Consulting. And he has 20 plus years leading and coaching teams between corporate America and business ownership. After being frustrated with a lack of quality time with family, he decided it was time for a change. Like he did most entrepreneurs, get stuck working on their businesses um, instead of strategically working in their business. His passion now is working with entrepreneurs of small to medium-sized companies, addressing their challenges around time management, personal, management, revenue growth, and strategic planning. So please help me welcome Jim. Thank you so much, Carol. I'm super stoked to be here today. I am super stoked to have you here today. Um, the reason why I invited Jim here actually is because he is going to be one of our special speakers, presenters, trainings uh, with a very special a Grow Workshop Series and Women's Success Summit that we are hosting with Aviatra Accelerators <laughs> out of Dayton with Pamela Cohn. Uh, she's a fabulous director there. And uh, together we are co-hosting this 2021 and beyond strategic planning, Grow Workshop Series and Women's Success Summit. So uh, Jim is one of our speakers and he's actually gonna be training this coming Thursday uh, at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And his uh, passion really is uh, strategic business planning. So he's the perfect person for this. So Jim, tell us a little bit about how you became uh, a business strategist, consultant, uh, coach with Focal Point. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Carol. And super excited to be one of the people asked to be a uh, presenter for your, for your summit. Um, really, really excited. So to kind of expand on the bio that you provided uh, that you just read, in that time of corporate America, I did a lot of travel. And when you do a lot of travel, as many of you know that have been in corporate America, you miss time with family. And so I was literally watching my son grow up on voicemails and videos. And it's rather a bummer. And so when I had an opportunity to become a business owner, doing what I did in corporate America, I jumped on it because I thought that, well, besides an opportunity for a better financial future for my family, I really assumed that no travel meant more time at home. The irony is um, owning a business equated itself into less time at home than when I traveled. And I had no idea that was going to turn into that. I was easily working 60 hours a week, every single week, and the time flew by. I, it was five years before I even knew what happened. And you get so lost doing the day-to-day -day tasks, trying to be responsible for sales. And I, and I had a partner even to share a division of responsibilities with, but still, we still talked with each other, right, to go through the needs. So besides being out there doing sales and working with the sales team and even training the inside team, and then talking with my partner about the HR components, which is what his responsibilities were, there's a lot of time that gets sucked up. Right. Next thing you know, especially this time of year, you get up and go to the office, it's dark out. You come home, it's dark out. And then the things that I was missing with my son because of corporate travel, I had no energy whatsoever to even consider by the time I got home from working the business. And needless to say, it was a little stressful, not only for me, but also for my spouse. And so it was a little rough uh, for those five years. And so for me, I, I had to get out. So I closed the business and I really had to do some figuring out. Uh, I didn't want to say soul searching, but I'm going to say it anyway. I had to do some soul searching to get a better idea on a direction. And I kind of did some independent contracting type work for about 18 months. And then I finally came across Focal Point. And quite honestly, I never really considered myself a coach until someone asked me what I had done in my career, which in corporate America, uh, to give a little more detail there, I trained, led, you could say coached sales organizations to sell my product. I worked for manufacturing companies. 
Well, as a business owner, I certainly coached, coached quite a bit, actually, not only some of those same sales organizations that I had worked with previously, again, to sell my products, but also now my own team, both the inside team and the outside team. So it was demonstrated for me very quickly that I had coached my whole career. And you know, what's funny now, as I look back on what I do now and how I interact with my clients, I really wish I had me for one, but more importantly, or someone like me, of course, but more importantly, just had the, the thought process to even ask somebody for help. I had no idea. Uh, and you know, the realization came to me, Carol, when I'm going through this process of, does it make sense for me to go down this path of being a coach? Uh, in sports, we expect athletes, even kids now, to have a coach. And I don't mean the head coach of the team. I mean, they have people come in that they pay to coach these kids, right? But oh, professional right. athletes, they have a strength coach, a conditioning coach, a nutrition coach, and all of these coaches. It's expected. In business, what is our typical process? Our typical process is we go to a weekend seminar where we get hours and hours and hours of information and notes, right? We, we get a podcast or we read a book. Well, then what? <laughs> uh, That's right. You know, we're, we're left to our own devices, right, to make it all happen. And the information is priceless information, but we don't have anybody to ask, hey, coach, did I do that set right? You know, there's, there's nobody there. So I really uh, realized that there's a need. And so I started to do a lot more research and really made a connection and resonation with Focal Point um, and wanting to stand alongside. I like to say that I stand alongside these, these small to medium-sized business owners as a silent partner, helping them walk through around, over all the challenges that come up as a business owner, because I've been there. I do know and understand what, you're, what they're going through. And so I can help them be accountable. Uh, I can help them think through situations strategically and not get lost in the day-to-day -day tasks that are inevitably going to come up. I mean, how many of us are glad when we get that email or the phone rings because we don't want to do some of the tasks we know that we're supposed to do? And then next thing you know, a week goes by and we still haven't done those things that we really need to do. So I get to step in and go, let somebody else handle that email and whatever, and let's work on these tasks, the ones that are going to move the needle for your organization. And ultimately, not only does it free up the business, if you will, make the business more efficient, but there's a ripple effect. Uh, focal points uh, tagline is pebble on the pond. There's a ripple effect. Once we help affect the business that ripples out to their home life, the employees and the employees home lives, your vendors, it, it, there's an amazing ripple effect that takes place once we focus on that business. So that's what my passion is. I'm hel helping business owners not fall into the same pitfalls I did. Yes, exactly. Well, I think that's why I'm really excited to have you uh, be our, uh, one of our speakers here this coming Thursday, part of our uh, workshop, Grow Workshop Series and Success Summit, um, because I think um, being a small business owner, uh, small to medium size, um, it's no small feat. There are so many, as you know, so many different facets of running a business. Um, it's really multifaceted. And sometimes Absolutely. we get lost in the, the, the minutia of day-to-day -day operations that we're, and we're handling probably tasks that, that can be um, <laughs> either outsourced or delegated. And um, it's hard to know when to do that if you don't have, if you're not working with a coach and someone to hold you accountable. So I'm also really excited about um, the strategic planning aspect. <laughs> I think, um, as we all know, this is a very challenging time right now uh, for uh, business owners in general, um, economically and uh, politically, et cetera. And um, I I'm noticing that a lot of uh, small business owners and entrepreneurs right now are kind of in a, a holding pattern. 
they're, they're just kind of waiting to see what's going to be happening here. And uh, my thoughts are it's really go time. It's time to really step back, take a look at 2020 and start doing some pre-planning for 2021 to set yourself up for success. And um, so I'm, I'm excited about uh, your bringing to the table this the mapping out the strategic planning aspect, um, especially the tools that I've seen that you're offering our attendees that will be attending our Grow Workshop series, um, whether they're attending virtually or at our hybrid event, um, they're going to have access to this, this template, this uh, tool to really um, map out uh, their business strategy. So I'm so excited about that. Um, that's going to be really, really awesome. Carol, that's a great point. Uh, well, a couple of great points in there. Uh, and so actually, I was thinking through what I had provided. I'm actually now going to include one of my coaching modules um, for free. I'm just going to put it into the material. We'll talk through it briefly. And then anybody that wants to kind of have a follow up one to one with me, I'll be happy to help them work through it. What's really awesome about what you uh, what uh, you and Pamela are doing with this program is really setting these people up for success, right? And what's great that I, I like to get to be on uh, mostly the front end of it talking about the importance of a strategic plan. And I don't want to give too much away from my presentation, but um, and it won't, there's not a lot of PowerPoint to it, just some cool pictures and a few visuals, uh, mostly conversational, because I like to be interactive as much as possible. But bottom line is, if you get into business and you don't have some written goals and a written strategic plan, it's like, we're in, we're in Ohio here, right? So it's like trying to go to North Dakota and your GPS doesn't work, right? And you don't have maps. So you're gonna wind up somewhere, the question is where, right? Right. So it's so key to have something that's written to hold you accountable to what you're doing so that when you get distracted, because you're going to get distracted, you have something that can bring you back to where you left off, like getting off the highway at a rest stop or to get gas or whatever, you know, or to get back on and get back on your, your trek, so to speak. Um, so really, really looking forward to that. It's so, it's so hugely important. And you also made a comment about entrepreneurs uh, kind of standing firm at the moment because of uncertainty. So two things to that. Number one, tons and tons of people, like myself actually, have found and decided that uh, this whole pandemic situation has caused for a lot of reconsideration of what's important and what kind of goals we might have for our, ourselves and our lives with our family and whatnot. So a lot of people are jumping ship and starting businesses. Uh, so even more important why this program that you guys have assembled is hugely important. So they can start off with success. But there's a key thing that you mentioned in there about holding back versus putting the, putting the gas uh, down to get moving forward into 2021. There's no question things have changed. People's attitudes are different towards business now. Uh, the interactions may change a little bit because their goals may have changed a little bit, your, your potential client's goals, that is. <clears throat> but for the folks that are working on a strategic plan right now to move into 2021 are already running the track, so to speak, because they have taken time and they have taken focus on how do they change their, the goals they had and how do they change the strategic plan that they had? What does it need to look like now so they can run? And they're already running because they've done so. If you're still behind, if you're still in the blocks, or worse yet, if you're still standing behind the blocks, shaking your legs out for the race, you've already lost, in my opinion. Uh, you're way, way behind. Right. <laughs> so if you're just launching your business, that's great. Let's get the strategic plan done and let's move forward. And it's like starting the race. It's great. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I love that you're, you're, you know, you're talking about it as if it's a race and, uh, and you're right. There are a lot of new business startups right now. And, um, and I, and you're, I love what you talked about. Um, I think our customers have 
um, their needs have made and their problems have probably changed throughout this past eight months. <laughs> so their yep. needs um, and their problems have changed. And I'm sure product off your product offerings have changed and uh, so many different changes. Uh, I know I can speak for myself at Beautiful Faces Going Places Women's Success Network. Um, we also have had to the word pivot and, uh, and, and really move into a virtual world. So, um, but I, I think the point is that um, business can still take place and happen, but you do Absolutely. have to put that foundational work in and map out your strategic plan. And really now is the time to be doing that for 2021 versus staying status quo and waiting and waiting and waiting for you know, the unknown. So right. um, I love thinking ahead and, and pre-planning. So this is really awesome. I'm thrilled that you're going to be uh, one of our featured speakers. And um, I don't mind sharing a little bit more about uh, this 2021 and beyond strategic planning uh, grow workshop series. Basically what it is, is the next three weeks we are offering uh, virtual workshops. They're one hour per week for the next three weeks leading up to our hybrid event where we will be meeting from 10 to 5 at Indiana Wesleyan University here in Westchester, Ohio. Um, our virtual attendees can also uh, zoom in and attend live. We will be live streaming this for all of our virtual attendees and, um, and, and really learning from our experts. Uh, Pamela Cohn and I have uh, specifically curated experts in various uh, business topics and backgrounds to really present a full uh, a full uh, menu uh, to help small business owners and entrepreneurs uh, tap into whether it's your marketing, uh, whether it's uh, business systems and processes and or leading teams within your organization. Uh, I know, let's see, Thursday, we also have uh, BB Connect. She is the CEO and founder of Absolute Web Marketing and she's going to be uh, really talking about all the new things that's happening with Google. You know, your business, your business website is open 24 seven. And uh, there are so many different facets of um, not just putting up your website. I mean, there's so many facets in terms of the SEO and e-commerce and uh, how to leverage Google, uh, Google My Business. So, um, and that's just one, one aspect of being a business owner, one facet, one topic. So um, Jim, of course, is going to be all about uh, building your uh, business strategic planning and mapping that out. So um, as you can see, um, I'm passionate about what we're doing here. And uh, initially, I've got to say, Jim, when I first uh, created this whole Grow Workshop Series Women's Success Summit uh, with Pamela, um, it was like, do we move forward? Do we just do we not do this? And let's wait till 2021. And I had to say, no, it is go time. We need this right now. Small business owners need this. Entrepreneurs need this. Um, yeah. So here Agreed. we are. It's go time. <laughs> Agreed. It is go time. I agree hundred percent. It is really exciting. And, and it's great uh, that the, the different speakers and stuff you have lined up. I got to read the list of course, and great list of people very well thought out as far as the different aspects that are needed to get that strategic plan rolling. And, and again, again, setting, setting these folks up for success. So I'm again, super excited. I get to be a part of that. Yeah, no, I absolutely love it. I know I'm thinking about, we actually launched it last week on um, uh, Friday, October <laughs> the 16th. It was national bosses day. And we had Tandy Pryor with Tandy Pryor coaching on mindset um, and really decluttering your environment to set yourself up for success. And uh, we had Deborah uh, Daniels, CPA, uh, finance expert on uh, profitability and the four different uh, profit areas that every small business owner should have in their uh, profit revenue bucket. So um, that was really cool. Learned so much from her and um, excited about this Thursday, Jim, and having uh, help us all map out our, and lay out our uh, business strategic plan for 2021. So 
um, yes, I'm excited. I'm thrilled that you're part of this program. Thank you. And uh, I just want to uh, say to you, if you're a small business owner, entrepreneur, or you're a corporate team leader, you're leading sales teams, we'd love, for, love to invite you. Come and join us. Uh, we've got special virtual only uh, ticket prices as well as groups of four or groups of two. Uh, bring a colleague and all that information is on Eventbrite as well as our website, beautifulfacesgoingplaces.com. And um, come and join us. Come and learn and grow and get ready for 2021. And there's also, uh, it's also a great way to meet new faces, uh, make some new connections and do a little bit of networking as well. I always say you never know who you can meet online and uh, you may just uh, meet some, someone who would be a great strategic uh, partner, business partner or a collaboration opportunity. So, so many things can happen when you show up. <laughs> Agreed. Yes. So Jim, do you have any uh, closing remarks for us as we uh, wrap up our business spotlight together here at Beautiful Faces Going Places? No, I don't, I don't think so. Nothing that really hasn't been said except to just reiterate that uh, I'm really, I'm proud of you as well. This is a great event. It's very well orchestrated and put together. Uh, the, the information is invaluable to the folks, so please attend. There's no, no question there in regards to what the value is as far as launching your business successfully. And just, again, can't say enough how excited I am to have been asked to participate and uh, cleared my schedule so I could participate. So super, super uh, ready and excited. Well, so are we, we're honored to have you here on our program. So thank you so much, Jim. And I, will say, um, I will go ahead and post and share the Eventbrite link below. And um, please reach out to me if you have any questions about this special uh, Grow Workshop series and uh, Women's Success Summit that we're launching on November 13th. So um, thanks a million, Jim. So appreciate you. I uh, love the work that you're doing at Focal Point and uh, can't wait to see you on Thursday. Thanks, Carol. All right, take care.